Jangan lupa untuk subscribe dan nyalakan lonceng notifikasinya. Finally, after months of rumors and only spy shots, the Ford Evos appeared at the Shanghai Auto Show. Much like the Citroen C5X, this is a segment blurring family car built as a cross between a wagon and an SUV. Ford Evos is the first product from the Blue Oval, nicknamed Ford, which is mostly developed by a team in China. Furthermore, this car will be available and manufactured at Chang'an Ford, a joint venture automotive company China-United States. It's an attractive five-door with a front fascia reminiscent of another Chinese model, the recently launched Ford Equator SUV. The light bar above the grille is gradually starting to become a design trend to create a visual connection to LED daytime running lights. The door handles are reminiscent of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Even though Ford calls this car a coupe SUV, it looks more like a tall wagon to us. The interior of the car differed markedly from Ford's current designs, adopting an ultra-wide screen setup of 1.1 meters (3.6 feet). The fully digital instrument cluster has a typical size of 12.3 inches and is coupled to a 27-inch 4K resolution touchscreen. They are housed inside the same large glass, almost as wide as the dashboard. Similar to what you'll find on the Honda e, where there are five screens side by side. The infotainment software runs on Sync Plus 2.0. The device is localized by Ford in China with Baidu's AI technology and what the company calls a virtual personal assistant. They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up. Sometimes I lose my mind. Just like the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Ford F-150, the Ford Evos also supports over-the-air updates. Meaning effectively the wagon SUV will get better with future software revisions without having to take the car to the dealer. Details on availability outside of China are scarce, although it is widely believed the Ford Evos will replace the Ford Mondeo in Europe and the Ford Fusion in North America. Based on the model name, that makes sense, considering the 2011 Ford Evo's concept previews the styling of a friendly midsize sedan. Technical specifications are still shrouded in mystery, but the vehicle is expected to be sold globally with a hybrid powertrain. The version shown here is the first edition which comes with all the nice extras, including contrasting orange accents inside and out. The latest Ford Evo's uses 19-inch wheels. This car has a two-tone body with a predominantly white finish combined with a black roof.